Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now check it out. Here's where your problem lies. This is called a dilemma. Many of you who have never, ever given God a try have been so disillusioned, have been so discouraged by lies that people have told you. You have lived a life where all you have experienced from other people and authority figures is either abuse, rejection, and or broken promises. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but they never follow through. So you listen to them, you watch them, you look at them, and you size God up in comparison to them. But God is not a man that he should lie. But you don't give him a try because you don't want to be disappointed. So you figure you already know the trick bag you're in. You already know the cell you live in, the bars, the size of your cubicle the size of your self-made prison. And you're safe in there, so you think. So you don't want to come out and give God a try, which means there goes your jail. There goes your cell. There go the bars. There goes all your protective mechanisms. No, you don't want to stick your head out of your shell. You're like a turtle. You'd rather stay hidden. But you don't realize that you're hiding yourself and cheating yourself out of the very things you have been needing all your life. Love, significance, acceptance, forgiveness, a brand new start in life, real life, real joy, real peace. You don't know that because you never had it. And because you never had it, you don't believe it's real. Oh my goodness, let me tell you, I've been on both sides of that coin. I know where you've been because I've been there, but I can tell you where you have not been, where God is, and it's wonderful on this side. It's beautiful living without turmoil. It's beautiful being able to love myself. It, you know, peace is actually wonderful to live with when it abides in you on a daily basis. God's love is life giving and freeing. You get acceptance from God. You don't care if anybody else accepts you or not. You accept yourself. You can be who you are. And be real about it, making no apologies, but not being mean with it either. You can be forgiving and merciful and understanding. And God gives you insight and patience with other people's faults. Because once he introduces you to you, you realize that you were never all that perfect as you thought you were. Ah. Oh. Okay, listen, you guys, whatever you do, don't give up on God, don't toss him in the trash, don't turn your back on him and walk away, but face him face to face as you face yourself and you humbly, humbly now admit, I need help. Yeah, I'm a mess. I'm tired of the hatred. I'm tired of the turmoil. I'm tired of the emptiness. And then ask him to make a difference in your life. Ask him to prove himself to you respectfully. Mm. Try it. Get back with me and let me know what happened. God bless you as you accept Jesus in your heart. Get forgiveness and turn 180 degree and see where God takes your life from this day forward.